Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. The Philippines, one and only, Negastar. I wasn't supposed to make a comment about you given that Mam Sarah was once a Sharonian. I have not checked if she still is. But sa pinakikita mong ugali, Sharon, I now realize na hindi mo nga pinagmana ng kagandahan tong si Kaki na kulang sa evolution mong anak. But apparently her sense of entitlement comes from you and Kiko. na inherit pala talaga yan. Bakit ba kasi kayo mga kakamping? You feel that the world revolves around you and the sun shines out of your ass. It does not. Attorney Sal Panelo has more of a chance at winning a senator than your husband ever becoming vice president of the Philippines, Mars or Uranus. I want to make it clear that your song can be sung by anybody, even better than you. And why would you attack at sasabihing sinira ni Atty. Sal Panelo ang kanta mo when in fact, tama naman ang sinabi niya. Hindi siya kumita o mananalo sa eleksyon just by your song, honey. It is to dedicate it to his son, Carlo, because he is an exemplary father. Something Kiko cannot relate. So kung ako sa'yo, Sharon, just because hindi mananalo na vice president yung asawa mo, I suggest you stick to being nice para naman may karir ka pa pagkatapos ng eleksyon. Because what will you be after the elections when your husband loses? Hmm? A bitter nega star? I wouldn't want to thank your husband because you're an icon in the Philippines, but it's sad that because of your politics, you will cease to exist in the radar of those that matter in this country because you think it's all about you. Let me remind you and the rest of the kakampings that even if you say paulit-ulit na magnanako si Marcos, kayo namang lahat sinungaling. For 500 pesos na ibabayad nyo sa mga rallies nyo? Really now? O pipili kayo ng mga locations na maliliit to make you seem big? Can relate sa mga lalaking maliit ang sandata. Masyadong confident pero wala namang ikakabuga. <laughs> Something even I can't relate to. Galing man ako sa lugar na nagugmagugma ako, pero hindi talaga ako babait sa kalaban. Magtutuos tayo. Mm-hmm. Ingat, Negastar. Mwah! I just want to say this for everybody. It is the smartest thing that has ever come out of a commissioner's mouth. with the pronouncement of the National Youth Commission that anybody who is caught or known to be against the government should be stripped of their scholarship. I mean, why would the government be responsible for making you go to school if what you're doing is against the government when you graduate? So whoever goes against the government shouldn't expect the government to pay for their education. Let your cockroach fathers and mothers pay for your education. Sila naman na nakikinabang sa inyo when you graduate. And when you die, dyan pa kayo kukunin ng Philippine Army at ibabalik sa mga pamilya nyo. Nakakaintindihan tayo mga ipis? Ingat! Mwah!